guys, welcome to another compilation. This time it's all about celebrity impressions. I think you're going to very much enjoy the impersonations which I will do. That is an amazing Sean Connery. No, that was, Nailed it. It was Johnny Depp. Enjoy. Dang it. gone, Jonathan. Will's gone again. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. No, there's no way. I've searched everywhere. He's gone. But if he could communicate through the lights before, he can do it again. I'll pull out the Christmas tree as well. Wait, what? We have to reach him, Jonathan. It's the only way. Help me with these decorations. What about the lights? Just help me. We have to contact Will. Do you see Will? Anything else? Hang this mistletoe in the kitchen. Will? Will? Why is there a turkey in here? We have to reach him, Jonathan. The smell will reach him. I don't understand. Go to your room. Go get more lights. <sighs> Mom! Hurry up, Jonathan! Will, can you hear me? <gasps> Why are you putting up so many decorations? The love will bring him home, Jonathan. Will! Will! This is ridiculous. Come help me in here. What is this? It's Father Christmas, Jonathan! Will! I'm almost positive this thing took Will. Christmas might not be enough. <laughs> Scatter these all around. Mom! Quick, put this next to the elf. Seriously? President's Day? I'm gonna light these? Mom, so stop, stop. Hey. Stop, he's gotta be around here. There's no need for this. Will says he loves us. Mom, no. Fax me. Go fax him, Jonathan. Just sit down, Mom. Go fax him! You're cool. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Mom? Will? Sweetie, is that you? Ah! Oh! 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 Will? Are you okay? What happened? There was a man. He saved me. Was it Father Christmas? No. You're safe now, young Will Byers. Thank you, Rushmore Presidents, sirs. Remember, young Will, speak softly and carry a big stick. Because that Demogorgon, he's going down like a cherry tree. Good evening, and welcome to the 2016 Democratic Debate. I'm Anderson Cooper, the official moderator. Tonight we will be broadcasting this debate live on YouTube where many of the questions asked will be pulled from the comment section. Marjorie, what is our first YouTube question? First comment. Oh, sorry, what is our first comment? No, that is the first comment. It's first comment. <laughs> okay, what, what is our second comment? First comment. Marjorie, go to the first question. Could you please subscribe to my channel? I would do anything for your vote. I'll subscribe twice. No, that's not how it works, Governor. Marjorie, can, are there any relevant comments? Yes. Thank you. The freak I just watched, this is fake. <laughs> this debate is very real. No, uh, he's referring to your hair. <laughs> dat dude's hair is too thick to be dat white. Dat has to be fake. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. That is not relevant. Who wrote that question? Uh, at Hillary Clinton. Sometimes Bill uses my account. <clears throat> okay. 
Senator Clinton, assuming that Marjorie has screened the comment section a little better, why don't we have you answer the next question? Great, great. Sorry, I got distracted by a suggested video of a polar bear cub. Have you guys seen this? It's adorable. Have you seen the one with the mother panda bear who's sneezing? Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Everyone has seen that, Governor. Don't try to fit in. The YouTube community will eat you alive. Marjorie? Okay, uh, question for Senator Clinton. Do you hate Justin Bieber too? <laughs> I do. Uh, this nation has suffered long enough from the condescension of one spoiled teenager. No, Senator, you don't have to answer that question. Is that because I'm a woman? What? <laughs> no, that has nothing. Marjorie, can you please just find a pertinent question? It got voted top comment. <laughs> Someone must have something interesting to ask the candidates. Say the name of your crush, hold your breath, and then tell this same thing to five other people. <laughs> Say no, the name of stop it. Don't do it. It's a chain comment. It'll never go away if you follow its directions. Check out this site that's giving away free iPads. This post has been marked as spam. Spam is a very American dish. It's made in Hawaii. Please, <laughs> skip to a pertinent question. Well, most of these comments are extremely offensive. Just find one. Okay. Wow, that is very racist. Yes. Keep scrolling. Okay. Keep scrolling. Okay. Keep, oh, this nation. Okay. <laughs> Found one. Broke the replay button. This is live. There's no replay button. Colon end parentheses. Just say smiley face merger. First comment. There can't be three first comments. <laughs> Why are you all stupid? I'd be embraced if I was you. This is why Gorge Bush was electric twice, so be quiet and get off the spools. Get... <laughs> So, does anyone know what that last word says? Gender roles. I think it's Arabic. <laughs> okay. Clearly YouTube is the wrong format for this sort of debate. Okay. Why don't we move over to Twitter? Okay. <laughs> Our first question is from at public voice 78 who asks, do you agree with the political reformative views of Nelson Mandela? Now that is a respectable question. He's attached a picture of Samuel Jackson for reference. <laughs> Mandela was great in Winter Soldier. An inspiration. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, J.J. Abrams is here to see you. <laughs> Mr. Lucas, you asked to see me? J.J., sit down. <laughs> and call me George. J.J., I've asked you here today because I am dying. Oh my gosh, George, I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do for you? Actually, there is. As director of the new Star Wars film, I want you to carry out my dying wish. Name it. Change the name of Star Wars to Space Adventure Fun Times. <laughs> That's your dying wish? It is. I'm not sure I can do that, George. JJ, you're the director. Trust me when I say you can literally do anything you want and they can't stop you. <laughs> I once put a random musical number into The Return of the Jedi just to see if anyone would stop me. They didn't, so it's a thing now. I'll look into it. Good. It's what the people want. I'm not sure it is. Well... Either way, it doesn't matter, because I just end up doing whatever the hoth I want. Okay, well, if that's everything. Oh, well, there's something else. Oh, good. Luke and Leia should end up together. George, they're brother and sister. Wait, what? When did that happen? You revealed it in episode six. It was pretty shocking. But I had them kiss in Empire Strikes Back. I know, that's why it was shocking. Oh, gross. This is the worst mistake I have ever made. It really isn't. We need to fix this. Grab the original film reels and call the computer graphics department. No, George, we're not changing fundamental plot lines. We can do anything, Jar Jar. JJ. Anything. <laughs> They can't stop us. You want Tatooine to have a couple more sons? Boom, we can make it happen. 
let it go. The movies are done. They are never done. Art is a work in progress. Yeah, but when Da Vinci finished the Mona Lisa, he didn't go back 30 years later and say, you know what? I want to add a wampa in the background. A wampa would greatly enhance the beauty of that painting. Luke and Leia are siblings. End of discussion. Well, what about Chewie? What about Chewie? I have some wardrobe changes I'd like implemented. You want Chewie to wear Leia's metal bikini? They bring out his eyes. Also, we're changing Lando's name to Coolio Starstash. George. And I want Luke's robotic hand to, re be, to be replaced by an Ewok. Not an Ewok hand, mind you, a full Ewok. Also, the uh, Millennium Falcon should be redesigned to look more like a butt. George, why? Why would you want to do this? I don't know, JJ. Why does R2 have the ability to fly in one episode but never do it again? What in the name of Endor is a metachlorian? Why is pod racing given 20 minutes of screen time? I don't know, I'm pulling this stuff out of my tauntaun. <laughs> George, let it go. It's time to let someone else take the reins. You're right. You're right. Promise me you'll take care of the legacy. I'll do my best. Thank you, JJ. Yeah. Oh, and JJ? Han shot first. Good to know. Because he's racist. Okay. I did it. I traveled back in time. Now to find Hitler and stop World War II. It worked. I traveled back in time to Great Scott. Who are you? According to my research, there was no one in this room in 1938. I'm here to stop Hitler. I'm from the future. So am I. You haven't seen him, have you? I brought with me chloroform and a sock full of nickels. <laughs> What year are you from? 1985. And you? 2015. Great Scott! And I've already failed! <laughs> Greetings, oh. dudes! <laughs> I am Bill S. Preston, Esquire! And I am Ted Theodore Logan. And we are here to stop World War II. Where to anyone else and none of us are trying to stop World War I? It's not like that was a picnic. <laughs> we originally tried to stop Hitler's parents from meeting, but we're the reason they met in the first place. <sighs> Total bummer. <laughs> Time travel is confusing. <laughs> Great Scott! History is being written by two madmen in a phone booth. Make that three. If you're here to stop Hitler, get in line, pal. No. Well, maybe later. I just came to deliver these. What's this? Uh -huh. I'm suing for copyright infringement. <laughs> Bogus. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Except I'm not. Allons-y. <laughs> now we need to come up with a plan. Hitler's gonna be through that door at any moment. Oh! Too many turns. Whoa. Brotfest. Hitler's a lot shorter than I thought, but surprisingly curvaceous. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Now we can't stand here idly by when you have the opportunity. Come on, Cadabra! Volkswagen. Somebody already killed him, so... I can't believe you did that. Oh, come on, he was basically the muggle Voldemort. Did anyone else follow that sentence? <laughs> well, I guess we better bail. Could I get a lift? This thing only works in reverse. For a bodacious babe like you? Excellent! <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go to 1995 and invest in something called Google. Or was it America Online? Well, I'm sure they'll end up equally successful, so... <laughs> Wait a minute. 
If you're from 2015, where's your hoverboard? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> Get it together, Earth. <laughs> Mr. Scott, Christian Bale is ready to audition. Oh yeah, send him in. Hello, Ridley. Christian, hey. These are our producers, they wanted to sit in. Oh. Big fans of your work. Now, Christian, we think you're a great fit for the part of Moses. You've got the fan base, the Oscar firepower. You didn't have to dress up, of course. I mean, this audition is just a formality. So. Yeah, I'm a method actor, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, but we, can we just get started? Yeah, let's just jump into a scene. Okay. Uh, Moses has just come off Mount Sinai. Yeah. He's pretty haggard, but he has to deliver the Ten Commandments to Israel. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I only have ten rules. <laughs> Whoa, what? Was yeah. I felt it. Yeah. Oh. Right. Uh, Christian, um, was that your Batman voice? Uh, no, that was my haggard voice. Um, this is my Batman voice. <laughs> and this is my haggard voice. They're completely different. Right, no, completely identical, actually. So, um, I'm just wondering, can you imagine that voice threatening Pharaoh? Or? There's a plague coming. Okay. <laughs> Granted, sounds pretty cool, but uh, again, it's clearly Batman. Okay, so. Ridley, he's gotten two Oscar nods, yeah, right? Just give him some space. No, listen, we're gonna do a few more scenes. I want you to stay as far away from Batman as possible, all right? Fine, you name the scene and I'll act it out. Okay, so Moses declaring himself prophet. I'm the prophet Israel needs. No! <laughs> Another. How about uh, parting the Red Sea? Does it come in black? Why would the Red Sea come in black? Challenging, it... challenging Pharaoh's sorcerers, do that one. Do you want to see a miracle? Are you ad adapting Joker's lines? I'm gonna make this staff turn into a serpent. Okay. Ta-da! No, this is not gonna work. What? I mean, who, who are you? Think about it. I'm Moses. Okay. <laughs> Ridley, Ridley, this is groundbreaking. He's never played a part like this before. Yeah, wealthy orphan goes into exile, then comes back to save his people. <laughs> That's the plot of Batman. That was the entire plot of Batman. You're hearing yourself, right? No. Ridley, come on. No, I need a character with emotion. There can be miracles <laughs> when you believe. Perfect, yeah. Look. I'm only gonna do this if I can get Michael Caine to play the part of Jethro. He's not in the running. Michael! What? Mr. Bale? Why is Michael Caine in here? Oh. Do your Jethro. Of course. <clears throat> Some men just want to watch bushes burn. Okay. Yeah. That's rich. That's rich. Thank you. Get out. That was awesome. No. We, should, we should totally put that in the no, script. No, you are not Batman. I think we've seen enough. Darn right. Let's get him a contract. That's not what I meant. No, he's perfect for the part, Ridley. Yeah, non-negotiable. This is exactly what we've been looking no, for. No, I'm the director. <sighs> Come. I still haven't given you the role. And you'll never have to. <sighs> Personalize your voicemail message at the beep. Hi, you've reached Jason. Leave me a message. Hi, you've reached Jason. Leave me a... Hey, this is Jason. Leave me that message. You've reached Jason's phone. Good job. What? Yo, 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 what's up, Home Slice? This is Jason's phone! Home Slice, hello? Who is this? You've reached Jason. I do not want to be one of those people. Hi, you've reached Jason. And Whitney. Leave a message. I do not want to be one of those people either. This is Jason. Leave your name and number, even though that information already came up when you called my phone. Leave a message and I'll uh, try to get back to you. Okay, I got this. Oh yeah, Jerry, I'm stressing out over here. You need to leave yourself a little. Uh, Michelle and I would uh, appreciate it if you went ahead and uh, left a message. Why is the rum gone? Guys, I gotta have more messages. It's not the message you leave, but what you do that defines you. The NSA is probably listening, uh, so be careful. What'd you say? I learned my last my message. Ah! Leave a message! This is the voicemail of Jason Gray. Air Force pilot. Why is this so hard? Why? Leave a message. 
I'm done. Good idea, I'll call Jason. You have reached 555-3012. Leave a message. So impersonal. <laughs> hey, you've reached Laura. Sorry I didn't answer. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hey, Laura, uh, it's, it's, it's your date. Uh, it, Jason, I don't know if you just... I, it's Jason, your date from the other day. Um, I, I, I was just calling to see if you'd like to, to see if how you're doing. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, just uh, call me back, buddy dog. <laughs> to send this message, press six. To delete and re-record, press seven. Oh, bless you, Verizon engineers. Thank you. All right. <sighs> you got this. Hi, Lars, Jason. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. Oh, Lord, Jason. Nope, nope. Come on, man. Find the happy medium. All right, just keep it loose. Keep it loose. Keep it loose. <clears throat> hey, baby girl. Mm, how's my sugar cube? Uh -huh. No, no, no. That's too loose. Uh, maybe uh, something distinguished? Presidential. Presidential? Yeah. Hello, Laura. It's Jason Gray. You had a great time on our date. Don't deny it. Okay? Call me back or I will deport you, you nasty little... Nope, nope, no, not that one. Um, I was wondering if you'd like to go on a double date uh, with Jimmy Jr. and maybe we could get some burgers. Oh. Call me back or oh, ten points from Griff Tinder. I hate myself. La 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 Laura, I'm loving it. Call me back. Pretty please. Call me back if you want to date. Why are there so many girls who won't date me? <laughs> All work and no dating makes Jason a lonely boy. I have a very particular set of skills. Skills that I have acquired from being single a very long time. I will look for you on Match.com. I will find you and I We'll teach you. Get to the floor, you'll stand! Do it! Someday I'll find it. A human connection. Make dating great again. Oh. Ah! <laughs> ha! Ha! Hi, Laura. It's Jason. I um, had a really great time on our date the other night. I was wondering if you could call me back. That'd be great. Thanks. Bye. I did it! Yes! Yes! Oh. <sighs> Messages sent. Messages? Message 39. Well, that seems to cover everything. Thank you for sorting that out, Your Majesty. Of course, Prime Minister. Thank you ever so much. Well, I'll leave you to it then, Mum. Uh, just a moment, David. Yes. We're friends, right? Can I confide in you? Oh, of course, Mum, yes. Well, I've been perusing the internet lately and I've noticed some rather troubling things. Indeed, Mum? Well, for instance, nobody reposts my tweets. I beg your pardon? It's been a month and I haven't had so much as a favourite. It's surprising how much a small gold star affects my self-esteem. Well, you shouldn't be too hard on yourself, Mum. Well, that's easy for you to say. I mean, I don't think you even follow me, do you, David? I don't, Mum, no. <laughs> well, I posted about you this morning. I tweeted, meeting with the Prime Minister today. Hope it's not a bore. Hashtag starting to miss Blair. <laughs> Is that not funny? Not particularly, Mum. <laughs> oh, but of course. <laughs> Princess Kate's Instagram gets immediately liked by millions for taking a picture of that chubby doe child. You mean the royal baby? Yes! A baby has more likes than me, David, and he's only half royal. <laughs> well, babies sort of dominate the internet. Have you seen Charlie bit me? Of course I have, David. I knighted Charlie for that performance. <laughs> well, maybe we should... I mean, look at this. I took a selfie at the Diamond Jubilee, and the only people to comment on it were trolls. Queen Elizabeth II, the sequel is never better, am I right? 
I mean, that's just hurtful. Well, perhaps you should focus your energy onto one social media site. Well, I have spent a lot of time on Google+. Plus. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that's sort of your own fault, isn't it, Mum? I know. I really thought it'd be the next big thing. Hmm. Well, we could... Suffering cats! Look at how many followers Putin has! Putin! The man was in the KGB! Well, that sort of makes him awesome. <laughs> and yet Reddit is crawling with memes of him riding bears. Also awesome. No, I cannot abide this. Come here, Prime Minister. What are you do I want you to take a silly picture of me, but not so silly that I don't look attractive. Sort of like a fish face. I really think you should get down, Your Majesty. No, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Should I make a peace sign? <sighs> Please, Mum. Oh, oh, hand me that scepter, David. The crown jewels always make me feel powerful. And I can hashtag it, Fly Honey Queens Got the Bling Bling. I would do something more, but I want to respect the dignity of my title. No, I can't stand for this. You are a figurehead known throughout the world. Oh, please, David. If the world still cared about me, then I'd still own it. Your Majesty, I think it's all right if you fall behind the times a little. I mean, fame is fleeting, but you've created a legacy, one you can be truly proud of. Thank you, David. I'm sorry. I suppose it's easy to get distracted from what truly matters in this world. Oh, look! I made BuzzFeed! Oh, uh, the top ten most irrelevant old people. Oh, I'm sorry. I made BuzzFeed! Oh, oh David! Oh, David, I, I feel as if I'm... Uh, what are the children calling it these days? The cat's pajamas. Nobody says that. Fetch me my crown, David. I want to go wave at the peasants. Oh, okay, here's one. All right, all right, all right. Matt Damon, Martian. No. Nailed it. <laughs> Wait, we're getting closer. Keep watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. They get better. They get better. Yeah. Yet another morning show. This is Wake Up USA. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome back to Wake Up USA. We've just been chatting with the fabulous Celine Dion. Yeah, yeah. Now, Celine, can I just say what a big fan I am? Oh, Linda, you're so sweet. No, really, I must have listened to My Heart Will Go On a million times. <laughs> Try two million times. <laughs> oh, Bob. Ow, ow, stop, stop. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, I am very touched. Well said. Now, I also hear that your daughter is in the audience. Is that correct? Yes, my darling Lexi. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, Lexi is also working on a music career of her own. Oh, well, oh. she's very young, so she's not at the professional level by any means. Oh, come on, but... she's great. Hey, where is Lexi? Let's just bring her on up. She's just so cute. Oh, I, I don't oh. think that... Uh, Get that a she... microphone on that girl. Come on. OK, well. <laughs> hey. Lexi, I heard you singing in the dress rehearsal. You got some pipes, girl. Thank you. <laughs> no, really, I have never heard such a beautiful voice. Never in my whole life. You're the best by far. Yes. Okay, well, she did get those pipes from somewhere, so me. So, Lexi, how old are you? I'm 12. I started singing when I was two. Two? Two? Oh, two. oh that wow. is impressive. Incredible. Get out of town. Incredible. <laughs> well, I started singing much younger than that. So. Younger than two? Yes, as a fetus. Okay. <laughs> Isn't she a riot, folks? But back to the adorable Lexi. Lexi, lady, I can see your name up in lights. You might even outshine your mom. <laughs> no, no. I have won five Grammys, so I don't think uh, Lexi can say that. Can you? N no, no, I can't. Can't. No, she can't. Yes, those are really, really big shoes to fill. I mean, Lexi, what is it like having a mom who is the world's most renowned diva, at least of last decade? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Celine's on her way out, but Lexi's on her way in. Yes. <laughs> you know what, Celine, how about instead of singing a solo, you perform a duet with your daughter? Oh, no, I, I don't think Lexi would I want have to. always wanted to sing alongside my mom. Oh. Oh. Wow. oh. Who can strange. say no to that, huh? Really, no one is allowed to say no to that. Hey, uh, Lexi, is there a favorite song you'd like to sing for us? I love Amazing Grace. Oh, really? You couldn't have chosen wow. one of my songs? Okay, everyone, give it up for Lexi and Celine. <laughs> Celine and Lexi, okay. Amazing you started without me, dear. Grace, how sweet the sound that says Sorry. 
this show. I just, I just, okay. No. Two These are broken. that oh. these belong to the amazing Lexi. Okay, <laughs> yes. You're grounded. Oh, Lexi! Oh, wait, you know what, guys? Sorry, I just wanted to, before we get started Christmas caroling, I just wanted to thank you for coming. This is really special that we get to do this together. And Celine Dion, thank you so much for joining our little group again this year. Um, but Celine, I just, so last year, you stole the stage just a little bit. So mm. if th maybe this time you could not do that. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Please just say you'll try. You'll try. Okay, close enough. Let's go. La 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 Don we now are gay apparel Fa la 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 Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings. Celine, just, 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 bring it down, bring it down, okay? Joy to the world, joy to the world. No, okay, Celine, no, all right? There is no joy, there's no peace, and your heart will not go on. Oh, uh, that's a low blow. Just why oh, do you have this, okay? I'm, I'm very sorry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, everyone. So our last house is old Mrs. Smith's. Everyone stay warm. And we're going to be singing Oh Holy Night. Okay. Oh, um, oh Holy Night is um, sort of my song. I mean, if you look it up, it actually says Oh Holy Night by Celine Dion. Uh, I, I just think if you don't want me to do what I do, um, that maybe we should sing something less powerful, like um, Frosty the Snowman or what? No, this is our finale, okay? okay? So help me, you must contain yourself. You're right. I will fade into the background. No chime, Celine. Last thing, I promise. I... Okay, just put them down. Okay, put them down. Let's go. Oh, holy night. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. The thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Hey, welcome to Teddy's Story Joint. Can I take your order? Actually, I just got hired. Oh, you must be Whitney. Here, come on back. I'll show you around. Okay. All right, so the way this place works is anyone writing a book, you know, for a novel, movie, TV show, right. they come in here and we sell them uh, plots and characters, you know, anything they could want. Shouldn't they be writing those themselves? <laughs> You're cute. 
Hey, Jane Austen, how are you? She's a regular. <clears throat> I'd like a plot today, the usual. All right. Uh, what's the usual? Girl likes a guy, looks like she won't get the guy, but then she does. With the witty social critique on the side? You know how I like it. All right. Order up. All single women, thank you. Wait, so you're saying that she uses the same plot in every book? Every book, yeah. Well, that's, that's wrong. Hey, George Lucas, J.K. Rowling. Hi, Teddy. I'd like a protagonist, uh -huh. white, teenage male. Everyone calls him the chosen one. Ooh, I'll have what he's having. And how would you like him cooked? Uh, let's go with, um, uh, never knew his parents, uh, -huh. uh, raised by his aunt and uncle, trained by a wise old man. Yes, I want it. <laughs> Anything on the side? Uh, how about, possesses powers he doesn't know about, uh -huh. uh, great at flying, super whiny. Mm. <laughs> I will get the same, thank you. <laughs> Anything else? No. Okay. Uh, yes? Can I get a small, ordinary object with the Dark Lord's soul inside it? Oh, actually, we just sold our last one to Mr. Tolkien. <laughs> Ugh, muggles. Great, now two huge sagas are going to have the exact same main characters. Uh, Harry wears glasses. You know, Whitney, you remind me of our other employee, Matt. He used to have a problem with the work, too, but now... Hey, boss, uh, the new batch of characters came in real bland. Just save it for the new Twilight book. You got it. <laughs> okay, I refuse to be a part of a company that plagiarizes. Whoa, we do not plagiarize. Um, I'm writing The Life of Pi, uh -huh. and I'd like to get a man who befriends a tiger and no one believes him. Matt, heat up Calvin and Hobbes. Coming up. Okay, really? You know, Whitney, you need to get off of your high horse, okay? I mean, take Ernest Hemingway here. Without our help, he'd still be on the streets. Hey, uh, hey, Ted, I'm a little short on change. Could I get some cheap characters? All right, that'll buy you an old man, and because I like you, I'll throw in the C. There you go. <laughs> This is gonna be so boring. <laughs> all those poor high schoolers. Mm. Do you see all the good we do? Not to mention the help we give the film industry. Hey, Teddy! Hey, Mr. Brockheimer, how Wait, are you? Gonna get a refill on Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> Again, you know they get more watered down after each one. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Don't shake it up too much. I want it to taste exactly like the first four. Hey, boss, we just had a big grease fire explosion in the kitchen. Give it to Michael Bay. Yep. <laughs> okay, Teddy, this has got to stop. Storytelling is based on artistic integrity. You have to shut this place down. Whoa, we shut this place down and your whole nation crumbles. Your politicians need us. What? Hey, Mr. Senator. Teddy, how are you? I'm doing good. Hey, so look here, we have three embezzlements, two scandals, a debt crisis, and a whole lot of campaign corruption, so <laughs> we're gonna need a lot of really great stories uh, to go. <laughs> okay, there you go. Well, uh, oh, smells believable. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, R.L. Stein, the R.L. Stein, sir. I have read all of the Goosebumps series. I'm a, we are huge fans. Well, thank you. Yeah, seriously, every time I'd read your books, they'd give me chills, or Goosebumps <laughs> on my, her yes. arms. Well, I'm glad that I could find my way into the creeping shadows of your childhood. Oh, uh, yeah. Look over there. Um. Just so you know, this guy's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh! You can't scare me. Come on, honey. It'll be okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Is 
Hello, Mr. Stein. I'm Ann Withers. Uh, Jen? Glenn. Glenn. Ann. Yen? Ann. 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 Oh, Ann. Yes, Ann. Seriously? It's three letters long. No. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit out of sorts. I seem to be having a bad hair day. <laughs> Yes, that's very innovative. May I take a picture with you? Okay. Okay. Yes, here we go. <coughs> Say cheese and die. <laughs> oh, oh dear, uh, my finger seems to be over the lens. One more, eh? <laughs> Say cheese and die again. Okay, thank you, Anne. Uh, Maybe after this is all over, you'd like to come out with me. We could uh, take a walk down Ghost Beach. <laughs> Actually, I'm afraid I must say goodbye now. We have to keep this line moving. Oh, yes, of course. Well, goodbye, it's a, uh, Anne. Uh, yeah, Anne, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let me just... Anne, it's a mine. Okay. Yeah, yes. yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> Sweet girl, eh? <laughs> Not unlike yourself, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> But you already got a book signed, Anne. A Anne. You have to leave. No, uh, how could you tell it was me? <laughs> this is a shocker on Shock Street. <laughs> Which, incidentally, is one of your weaker titles. Were you even trying on that one? I don't try on any of them. Well, <laughs> um... I, I just came back to tell you that you spelled my name wrong. Y you just wrote the letter N three times. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that now. But, uh, no, 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 please, go eat worms! <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Uh, please, Anne, uh, enough. Uh, Watching you run is exhausting me. <laughs> Mr. Stein... You possess a sort of magic in your gaze, and I am under the magician's spell. Are you coming on to me? No one has ever done that. Mm, your pulse is very quick. Either your heart is racing or your veins are full of... Monster blood. Mm, you make all my titles sound so much better. I wish I could come up with your titles for all of time. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Would you care to have lunch with me? We could have chicken, chicken. Sounds delicious. Mm. Uh, uh, Mr. Stein, what should I do about the people that are in line still? Tell them why I'm afraid of bees. Why are you? It's just a book title, Jeremy. So, N, how old are you? Mm, I prefer to leave that indeterminate. Mm. <laughs> Do you think we should eat something besides nasty oxes, precious? <laughs> yes. I'll just make such a fancy reservation at that air restaurant we love. Great. <laughs> well, can we at least cook it? Yes. And then I'll bust the breads, pour on the barbecue sauces, and have pulled orc sandwiches. <laughs> Sounds tasty. No. It's a Smiggle's right, Gollum. Eating undercooked meat significantly increases one's chance for foodborne illness. Who is you? Ah, uh, how rude of me. My name is Sir Jeffrey. I'm confused. Well, Gollum, you're not the only personality who lives here, you know. <laughs> You're not Lord of the Brain. <laughs> Did you invite him? No! I've already got enough issues. 
whatever. <laughs> you guys are being like so lame right now. And this cave is super techy. Okay, who invited the teenage girls? <laughs> uh, and this outfit like totally clashes with my skin tone. Go away and never come back. Uh, don't tell me what to do, freak show. How many people is this in here? Oh, uh, just the four of us, I think. Don't forget to curse me! <laughs> I'm getting a mild this. Very good to see you, Bill. <laughs> hey, have any of you seen a gold ring by chance? Or some yellow pudding? <laughs> we had a ring, but we lost it. Oh, what happened? Was, was it stolen? Yes, by a big, Nasty pieces. Really? No, it was a hobbit's. <laughs> Three feet tall, super embarrassing. Whatever, gold rings are like so last year. Mal <laughs> It's funny because a golem we come in here and it makes a face like this. Whoa! <laughs> Hey, Cosby's, I've got a riddles for you. What wears obnoxious sweaters is, but doesn't breathe. The kiss today with, with the riddles and the brain damage. Ah, oh, what is going on, this? Uh, search and rescue, are you Jason Gray? Oh, hey. Oh. Uh, are you the only one in here? We heard voices. Yep, just me and just. Oh, what happened to you? Things, man. When you've been down here as long as I have, your mind starts to play games. You've been missing for two hours. <laughs> it's a good thing you found me when you did. Yeah. <laughs> We're still looking for Jeremy, though. Any sign of him? Whose leg is that? Hey. What's up? Hey, how's your test go? Oh, really well. And by that, I mean I fell asleep and missed it. Hey, uh, just so you know, man, Sid's kind of been on one today. So, Again? Yeah. Man, that dude is the worst. You know, yesterday he tried to get me to throw a broomstick in between someone's tire spokes. Okay. <laughs> That's messed up, man. Seriously, the kid was like five years old. Good evening, roommates. Hey, Darth Sidious. How was your day? Exactly as I had foreseen. I don't know why I ask anymore. I can feel your frustration. Frustration is a path to the dark side. Take my weapon, strike me down, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. Sid, man, seriously, you are obsessed with being struck down. No one in this apartment is going to do it, okay? So stop asking. Okay, but the offer's still on the table for whoever. <laughs> okay, who drank the rest of the milk and put the empty jug back in there? It was I who finished the milk. Mmm, I can feel the hatred <laughs> swelling within you. Take the milk jug, strike me down, man! This is not healthy, man. Go ahead and finish. And your journey towards the dark side will be complete. <laughs> Thank you. There we go, there we go. Wow, you guys are doing really well. Right? Yeah. This guy's are getting worked. Good, good. Use those aggressive feelings, boy. Okay, how did he come in the middle of the game? It's, it's online, it doesn't make oh, sense. Oh, I am defenseless. Strike <laughs> me spatten down with all of your anger. Done. What? <laughs> oh! No, it's good. That's good. That was gruesome. But finally, 
Your path to the dark side is complete. <laughs> nah, I'm good. What do you mean, nah? You totally struck him down. <laughs> Let's just say that counts. Will just one of you come to the dark side? I get so lonely. <laughs> come on, Sid. The dark side is totally lame. Your mother is totally lame. <laughs> What? <laughs> Must have been the wind or the force or something. I don't know. Okay, not cool, Sid. I know. I'm sorry. I just wait. No. <laughs> this is exactly what I want. I can feel your hatred. I think you need to apologize. No. In fact, your mother is so fat. It's like the Death Star put on a pair of pants. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Oh, he did. By the way, Jabba the Hutt called. He wants your mother to come over so that he can feel skinny. <laughs> oh, snap. Snap, indeed. In fact, if you won't join me, maybe she will. We can call her Darth. Cellulite. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Strike me down. Oh, that is so much harder than I expected. Maybe we should reconsider the whole striking down thing. Yes, yes, Stephen, let's play canasta, sexual feelings. Ah! It's so beautiful up here, Luke. You know, technically a Jedi isn't supposed to fall in love, but seeing as how I'm the only one. <laughs> Luke, she has a cold soul. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'm pretty sure Boba Fett fell into that thing. I've been spotted and they shot my lightsaber. Luke. Oh, not now, Ben. I'm on a mission. Luke. Get out of here. Luke. We have reason to believe the Empire plans to attack tomorrow. In other news, we received some complaints from the inhabitants of Hoth. There's been mysterious yellow snow I don't want to start rumors, but do you know who also has a cold sore? Chewy. Mm. Yep, sad but truey. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. deal with it. Mm. 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 I'm loving it. Mm. I'm loving all of it. You're worse than Jabba, Big Mac, but I'm going to eat you anyway. Jedi 1, no. Jedi 2, um, Return of the right. Jedi. Yes, the beef is strong with this one. Yeah. Look. I know your only other kiss was your sister, and that's a tough one to end on. But have some respect for yourself. Luke, this is good for the soul. How do you think Yoda lived until he was 900? Luke! What do you want? I'm bored. Are we on like a volcano planet or something? Why is it so hot in here, Ben? I use the force to crank the thermostat to 110 degrees. Why? Hot yoga, baby! And like you couldn't use the extra burn, I've seen that job of the huff and top you've been hiding under them robes. I should go. What? Trust me, you dodged a laser blast on that one. Plus, given your track record, 
She was probably your cousin or something. Perhaps something much more. Don't worry, Luke. I'll protect you. Ah! My good hand! Okay, the really amazing thing here is that he actually hit something. <sighs> That. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. No, Luke, please, no! I, 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 I'm kidding. The Jedi chokehold doesn't work on a ghost. It just goes right through. All right. Um, let's do some sun salutations and uh, call it good. Namaste. Namaste. Um, namaste. Namaste. No, namaste. Namaste. Subscribe! Roto! Boom. Like and comment, guys. We'll see you later. Yes. Like, comment, comment, comment. Like.